What? If you are like me, then you may be got shocked by looking at the system requirements for Windows 11. Because look at the system requirements, it's just crazy. And people like me wouldn't able to just run uh, win the new the next generation of windows on their existing hardware well i have two computers in my home actually and that is um, this desktop that i'm recording right now and the laptop that you're seeing behind me is also uh, a computer that i use in my everyday i use uh, in my as my daily driver uh, more precisely and i just need to test windows 11's insider builds and uh, because i'm just uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a windows insider so for that i can't just install it uh, on this uh, on this desktop pc because this is my workstation this is where i work um i learn and stuff like that i, I use this desktop so much so i can use uh, windows 11's insider preview on that laptop but the problem is I cannot run Windows 11 on it and uh, most of you guys also cannot run Windows 11 on your device and in this video we are going to see how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported hardware so let's get started so before starting I just need to show you guys this thing that I have been working on what is this thing well actually introducing Scradle an open source music player which just takes all your music inside your mobile phone it, your music may be scattered all over the place it just takes all those musics and then bring it straight into one application and that is Gradle Gradle has some minimalist UI so that all your musics can be very uh, you know so that uh, you can access you, you can use cradle more efficiently of course so this application is only for android i've developed this by myself using java and this is coming to google play store very soon so please wait so that um it's still on uh, beta testing so that after uh, we finish testing uh cradle will be on your mobile phone when you download it okay so i just need to inform you guys about cradle that's it so now getting back to the video so before started all you need to do is you just need to download uh, ISO files of Windows 11 that you are going to install and then uh, an ISO file of uh, Windows 10 the latest build so you can download Windows 11's ISO on the web uh, if possible I will give the link and you can download Windows 10's ISO uh, by going to windows uh, windows then download and then going to the first uh, website so and then uh, from here you just need to uh, right click and uh, then click inspect so why you should do it well because you just need an ISO file and you can even create an ISO file by just uh, downloading this tool and then using this tool you can just download the ISO file but that will be uh, taking some more time but so by using this method you can download Windows 10's ISO file directly from this website officially so how so, so a lot of you guys may know this trick but let me show you just click inspect and make sure that uh, you click on this the tablet and mobile application layout click on that okay and then uh, let me just refresh the page so that it just looks like uh, as if you are viewing from your mobile phone or tablet so from here you can see we have select edition select Windows 10 confirm and then choose your product language I choose um, English confirm click on 32 bit or 64 bit according to your system and also make sure that the ISO file of Windows 11 you are downloading is also matches your architecture because I think Windows 11 does not have a 32 bit ISO file so that uh, it depends so I already downloaded that so it is right here there we go so we have the ISO file of Windows 10 
and the ISO file of Windows 11 here. So what should we do at this point? Well, you will be needing an USB drive. So let me just take my USB drive. Where do I keep this? Where did I kept my USB drive? So I got the USB drive and that is right here. So I have backed up and now at this point uh, you will be needed an application called as Rufus or else you can use uh, uh, the Belena Etcher. So let me just download Rufus ie and I will download the latest version 3.15. So I have downloaded Rufus as you can see. So let me just open Rufus. Uh, Rufus, yeah. You don't need to install Rufus. It just runs directly from the .exe file. Okay. So here I have uh, the 32, 32 GB uh, USB drive. I will select Windows 10. So you should not select Windows 11. You should select Windows 10. And uh, if your device supports gpt you can choose gpt but if your device does not support gpt you can select uh, mbr so what is gpt and mbr it's so simple uh, if your device runs on ufi you can just uh, choose gpt if your device runs on legacy boot uh, boot partition system then you can just choose mbr so how to find it so simple just go to system requirement so, so, sorry system information and then inside that uh, you will be you should just need to uh, go to this BIOS mode. So here we can see that in the BIOS mode, this system is running on UEFI, and of course Windows 11 does not uh, does also requires UEFI. So so this is an added advantage. So also the laptop behind me also supports UEFI. It is it, it's also in UEFI motherboard. So I'll choose GPT, and I will choose NTFS. Or else I'll just select MBR. So I'll just select MBR because that's what the laptop is running right now. So I'll just select, select MBR because you know. And file system should be NTFS. Just make sure it's standard in, uh, standard Windows installation. And then hit start. See, as I said before, all your data on this device will be entirely erased. So okay. And then at this point. You should wait for your computer to create an installation medium. Let's wait. So, as you can see, we have successfully created uh, this bootable drive of Windows 10. And now let's just close it. And now let me open the file. Okay, so now uh, you should just go to the USB drive where you created the bootable drive here so from the USB drive you should just go to sources and it said sources you should locate a file called as install.wim so here we have the install.wim file and what we are going to do is we are going to replace this uh, install.wim file with the install.wim file of Windows 11 so let's just um, so let me just keep it aside and I will open another tab here okay so I will keep it uh, right here okay so from here let me just open the Windows 11's uh, ISO file here and go to sources and I will locate installer WIM file here so we have all the uh, required files so what we need to do is we need to delete the install.wim file of windows 10 and click yes and then you should just uh, copy the install.wim file of windows 11 and paste it in the windows 10 usb we made so it's about 3.3 gbs of file uh, that large file so it just takes some time to copy the file so let's just wait so as you can see we have successfully copied the install.wam file and now it's time to boot
so let's boot it so guys we got the laptop and this is running windows 8.1 now and this is my brother's account he is using this laptop for a while so let me just shut down the laptop so that we can proceed with the installation process so if you see here this is the usb stick and we are going to boot the laptop from this stick and then we are going to install it so before that make sure that you have uh, your charger plugged in so we'll just plug in my laptop's charger so yeah so we i got the so i got the charger plugged in and now uh, let me just insert this usb stick so you can see it yeah so I got the USB stick it's right there and now let us just uh, get into the boot menu so every laptop and every computer has its own uh, every brand has its own uh, key for uh, getting into the boot menu so in my case this is a Lenovo so for Lenovo's it's just um, F12 so right now I'm inside the boot menu of my laptop and from here we can see uh, the SanDisk Cruiser Blade, so this is our USB stick, so hit enter and then uh, just hit enter again and uh, you will see that it is booting like uh, Windows 10 ISO so don't worry, it's just Windows uh, 11 so it will boot into Windows 10's ISO so as you can see it's booting Windows 10 uh, well, actually, it's Windows 11, but since we moved all those files, so it is just showing like Windows 10. So here we have the installation disk. So let's just start the setup. So I don't have a product key. I accept and uh, next and custom install. I will delete and delete all those partitions and hit next so here we are so it's just going to take a while uh, so that uh, it can install windows so let's wait so it's going to complete and hit restart now and now uh, the laptop will restart and this time uh, it will boot into the hard disk where we installed windows so as you can see the boot logo has changed so this is windows 11's boot logo so we have successfully installed windows 11 and i may uh, i mean we we are not completed yet we need to complete the post setup but even though windows 11 is booting from this 12 year old hardware which is an incredible thing and uh, which I cannot believe so let's give it some time so the laptop is restarting again and and at this time this is going to boot into the post installation setup which is a pretty good thing wait okay it's just taking some time so let us give it okay just a moment screen I love this well uh, just this, this is just amazing so the driver incompatibilities uh, might be a bit frustrating but of course windows installs uh, in, in windows installs a universal driver for everything uh, which suits your hardware so we don't need to worry about that and here we have windows 11 well it's it's a bit slow but okay this is since this is a post setup uh, okay so here we are in the setup and the laptop is getting pretty hot now because we're just pushing beyond the limits right so let me just set up the windows 11 okay yes us layout skip
so there we have uh, so we have the Windows 11 and it needs to restart uh, so Windows update stuff and things so the main thing why this laptop still runs Windows 11 uh, a bit faster is because this is using an SSD and if you're still using a traditional HDD you should just switch to SSD so that your computer runs faster and now let me just restart uh, because after every setup I we need to restart so let's restart the computer once again so they have not changed the restarting screen it still looks like Windows uh, 10 okay so it installed uh, a driver as a display driver which comes with Windows 11 so guys the laptop has finally booted and now let's just enter the pin and yeah we have Windows 11 ready uh, but the problem is it's a bit uh, slow because as you know this is a very very old laptop and start menu does looks uh, good let me just go to settings uh, very soon and I will go to update and security I think there is an update for this uh, build but before that I will uh, I, I have to check uh, whether uh, the system resources are fine or else is it dangerous for the hardware so let me just open task manager yeah we have task manager here and let me just keep it in the more details I'll go to performance so we can see that the CPU uh, utilization is um, is increasing at the same time it's decreasing and the memory is used uh, it's used 36 percentage and disk usage is also uh, good and uh, this is the USB drive and the Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi card is also good so everything is working fine and this laptop is perfect to work with Windows 11 I just need to install some uh, updates so I'll install it so that's it for today guys and we have successfully installed Windows 11 in this 12 year old laptop so I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give a like subscribe to our channel and also join our discord server link is in the description box so pick and join uh, our community very soon and also follow us on facebook and cyber Zapers and also now on instagram and also when scradle releases don't forget to download scradle the music app and i'll see you guys later in my next video until then bye